University to set up an innovation lab, Gearbox Kenya. Over the last seven years, it equips entrepreneurs to realize their concepts for economic growth. The Gearbox mentorship program is also set to build 28,000 smart greenhouses over the next five years. The teams that build them will have full use of the hub during the manufacturing process and ownership of the crops. While public-private sector relations remain a challenge, Gashege hails the government for training the informal sector and demarcating special economic zones. I think that now <clears throat> industry and government have to work together to refine so that you get the best overall policy structure for encouraging industrialization. Technology to me is empowerment. Conventional technology, by contrast, inserts components to the holes in the board. SMT, on the other hand, improves every aspect of electronics, design, materials, processes, and assembly of component packages. In the meantime, Gearbox is emphasizing on the IoT or Internet of Things startups. IoT are things or objects that are embedded with sensors, softwares, and other technologies. Gearbox is also focused on the user's experience and how to protect their intellectual property rights before they manufacture anything on the new 75 million shilling in-house SMT. Technology advancements like IoT, artificial intelligence and robotics have disrupted industry and economics around the world. It is all part of the fourth industrial revolution or 4IR. Ample opportunities are with sub-Saharan Africa but with a strong focus on electronics manufacturing. We are at a critical moment in time, I'd actually call it an inflection when it comes to electronics manufacturing. Kenya has certain things that have made this to be the right time. Um, we look at our youth, we have a, a wide foundation of youth that are trained in electronics, mechatronics, engineering. We have a wide range of youth trained in software engineering. We have mobile money in Kenya and East Africa is pervasive, it's everywhere. We see ourselves as a factory of factories. So we'd be really, really, really happy if 10 years from now there are hundreds or even thousands of, of factories that have emanated from ideas that were um, crystallized in our space. Industrialization and manufacturing are estimated to contribute 10% to the East African country's GDP. Grace Josephine, TV47.